request you all kindly take your seats. The, given the lovely season outside, a warm welcome is what we all need. Welcome friends to Open Minds. Open Minds is brought to you by Ken, the Entrepreneurs Network, and KYT, Know Your Town. It is envisioned as a platform for entrepreneurs, professionals, and individuals who aspire to express and share ideas, leading all on a continuous journey of learning. And we have a spectacular guest to hold that weekend for us today, Mr. Shirish Deshpande, the CEO of PIPPL, in his Pan India Parliament Private Limited, popularly known as Essel World, Water Kingdom, and Downtown Essel World. So, uh, this Open Minds is, as I mentioned, a collaborative effort brought to you by a networking platform which is in existence for the last six years called TEN, the full form of which is the Entrepreneurs Network. As the name suggests, the platform has been set up to support, promote, and develop entrepreneurs, whether established or budding. For the last six years, the Entrepreneurs Network has been providing activities, designing activities and events around this theme of supporting entrepreneurs. And we are the founder secretary of the Entrepreneurs Network. It's a proud fact for me that we have made efforts to cultivate our members on the transformational journey, way above the transactional journey that any entrepreneur or a business person would look at. To know more about TEN, I would request Fitesh Panchmatiya to please help us with an audiovisual, a short audiovisual of TEN, which will put things in perspective for us as an audience. Thane, Maharashtra's major industrial town, fastest growing and stated to be the most happening commercial hub. Over the last decade, Thani has grown from a small suburban town to a large self-sustaining metropolis. Proximity to the financial capital of the country has extended ample opportunities to Thani for becoming one of the richest districts in Maharashtra, with potent factors like a well-planned infrastructure, low cost of operations, and ample business opportunities. Thani has seen a surge in the number of business ventures in the last few years. Businesses came up in industrial areas like Wadi Estate and Majiwala, as well as development in residential and commercial projects on Woodbundle Road gave further impetus to the growth of business in Thani. Over a period, Thani has seen opening up of various business avenues like real estate, IT and web enabled services, engineering, manufacturing, fashion, as well as art and entertainment. With growing opportunities and upcoming business ventures comes the growing need for business networking to learn, explore, connect and share avenues for mutual growth. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Network. The Entrepreneur's Network, popularly known as TEN, was established in the year 2010 with the intent of providing a platform for entrepreneurs to share experiences, learn from and educate fellow entrepreneurs and generate business opportunities for mutual growth. Our motto, connect, breakthrough, prosper. TEN is a platform for entrepreneurs from different business fields to come together. Members contribute connections, ideas and time to help them grow. Members are rewarded with training workshops, insights, networks and camera daily offered by other like-minded entrepreneur members. Ten members meet every Wednesday from 7.15 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. at a pre-decided venue. The meeting is attended by members as well as by visitors invited by members. We learn about each other's business model by having members present themselves before all attendees. In the last five years of its existence, TEN has provided a robust platform to its members for learning and sharing through weekly meetings, one-to-one -one interactions, as well as addresses by internal and guest speakers. TEN, in strategic partnership with Nalanda International Management School, has brought in quality content through forums like Samanwar, 
a research on the business of a member and case study presentation with a mature entrepreneurial audience for objective discussions and learning. Does he move ahead on this path of connecting for mutual growth? We look forward to more hands, more heads and more hearts to come together. So if you are an entrepreneur who understands and wants to deal with the pressures of entrepreneurship in a prepared and confident manner, you should join them. Be a part of them. Connect, break through, prosper. which is consistent in pace and stunning in its impact. Thanaites often have felt the need to evolve and adapt to the rising aspirations of their beloved city. They expect more from the infrastructure that defines, that defines their lives, their shopping malls and multiplexes, their restaurants and hangouts, their educational institutions and their elevated roads. Against this background, Thani Vaibha, as pioneers of news publishing in Thani district way back in 1975, are said to be trailblazers yet again, with a fortnightly magazine dedicated to the entire town of Thani and aptly titled Know Your Town. This metamorphosis follows extensive research and interaction with readers, advertisers, media experts, and the like. Embedded within KYT is the idea of creating a platform for readers to share their perspectives. And hence, KYT has brought into limelight many personalities who have overcome all odds and excelled in their locations. And thus, KYT is on the path of weaving a fabric of belonging towards this beautiful city of Thun. So we got the applause to KYT as well. On behalf of Ten, it's a it's a great honor for the collaboration means a lot to Ten because we see the synergies, we saw the synergies that are happening. And since KYT was on uh, the spotlight of KYT was on entrepreneurs and we being entrepreneurs network, we couldn't um, escape the magic. Okay. Right. So the first edition of uh, Open Minds, for which we have all gathered here, is about managing a global enterprise. What, what does it feel? How does it work of managing a global enterprise? And the global enterprise in discussion today is the Pan-India Paryatan Tariq Limited, which is popularly known as Essel World, Water Kingdom and Downtown Essel World. Just to set the framework for discussions that are to follow, I'm just reading out a few facts about the company. PIPPL belongs to the SL group of companies which owns and operates two amusement parks, SL World and Water Kingdom at Mumbai. SL World is the largest amusement park in the country and Water Kingdom is one of the largest themed water parks in Asia, both located on 64 acres of land. Since the last 26 years, SL World has been responsible for setting a benchmark in the amusement park industry in India. The island of Fun is located on the coastal Gorai village in northwest Mumbai, a scenic setting injected with wholesome thrill and entertainment. The 42-acre complex boasts of over 57 attractions designed for entertainment for all age groups, perfectly justifying the title of being India's largest amusement park. With time, SL World has evolved and added fantastic elements such as Shot and drop, top spin, monsters in the mist, ice skating ring, bowling alley to name a few. The amusement park is a favorite for school and corporate picnics. With all the fun and frolic, it is ensured the safety of visitors is not compromised. An amalgamation of thrill, fun, entertainment and pure business, for pure happiness, SL World offers it all. With conventional leisure trips, gatherings, 
school trips, or an impromptu visit, the park has entertained over 20 million visitors to date. I will allow that figure to sink. 20 million visitors till date. What in Indian offers over 30 attractions spread across 22 acres of clean fun with 90 lakh liters of water. World's largest wave pool is spread across 100 meters with cool blue water and lush gardens. The mega attraction is the lagoon. India's largest aqua play pool. Spread across 30,000 square feet, the lagoon is a perfect family play port suitable for guests of all age groups. Goffer's Lagoon is recently launched and is another major attraction in the park for toddlers. Other well known slides and attractions at Water Kingdom are Water Coaster, Drifting River, Mama Mia, Aqua Drone, Black Bellin. Elephant Safari, Serpent Safari, and lots more. With the framework now set as to what the rest of the evening is going to be, and I am now very proud that the inaugural session of Open Minds is being raised, as I said, by a spectacular star himself, Mr. Shirish Deshpande. I would like to thank him. Finally, it's often to the podium. And as they are coming, I would like to read out a brief introduction of Mr. Deshpande, which will help us understand him in a better way. Mr. Deshpande is the Chief Executive Officer of SL World and Water Kingdom. He is a veteran of the entertainment and amusement industry with nearly 16 years of industry experience. He is also the second Vice President of Indian Association of Amusement Parks and Industries for the year 2015-16 and 2016-17. Mr. Deshpande started his career in 1983 with one of the leading pharma majors, May Record Pharma Company, presently known as Roan Polonek India, as a sales medical representative and very soon got elevated to a senior position based on his zest and passion for sales. After his stint in the pharma industry, he continued to work as sales and marketing professional with multinational companies such as Kodak and Redden Plastics Limited, where he proved himself by taking the company sales to a spectacular level with some innovative and unique initiatives. Moving ahead with his illustrious career, he then joined Excel World in the year 1997 as a Deputy General Manager and within a short span got promoted to Vice President Sales and Marketing. Mr. Deshpande was instrumental in the launch of Water Kingdom, the relaunch of SL World, and SL World's brand extensions into hospitality and family entertainment centers. His vision is to take SL World and Water Kingdom at par to an international amusement park and offer a complete family getaway solution to customers. After spending eight years, Mr. Deshpande decided to broaden his career horizons in the field of hospitality and joined the Opera Group of Hotels as Director Sales. Since the passion of the entertainment and music industry was running in his veins, Mr. Deshpande decided to end his stint in the hotel industry to return back. And in the year 2008, Mr. Deshpande came back to SL World and Water Kingdom to handle key service areas and manage the affairs as the CEO of the company. Mr. Deshpande has, has expanded the reach of the brand into detail with the launch of Downtown Essel World at Season Small in Pune, a family entertainment center with a unique product mix which will cater to all age groups. His vision has brought together three unique zones, Snowtown, Cricket Town and Laser Warriors in a compact retail format of 20,000 square feet. He is aiming to offer entertainment blended with mega style hospitality through this project. I would request Deepa Kapoor, the founder of TEN, the Entrepreneurs Network, to welcome Mr. Deshpande by offering him a bouquet of flowers as our gesture for accepting, his, for accepting our invitation and spending his precious time with us. Deepak, I would request you to please pick up the other bouquet as well. 
because equally important or rather more important is Mrs. Anuja Deshpande who is in our presence. If you could please offer her the bouquet of flowers as well. Please walk to the Lady Deepak. <laughs> The woman's strength cannot go un unacknowledged. You would agree, sir, won't you? <laughs> right. Yes, sir. We have set the mood and we are now in the mood to actually have a rendezvous with Mr. Shri Deshpande on managing a global enterprise. And facilitating this for us is the managing editor of New York Town, Nikhil Bangal. I hand over the podium to you, Nikhil. Please help uh, Dishpande sir to open his minds for us so that our minds get opened by the end of the session. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
then from there I went to the national level and then uh, opportunity came once again I sense that uh, either I may not be able to deliver what I want or organization may not be able to give what I want either, either it's not that we I am not uh, demanding position. Sometimes organizations are demanding position. Sometimes your market is demanding position. You may not be able to give what the organization wants. So I thought, let's try somewhere out. And then I got an opportunity with the amusement park industry. And I think that was the right thing for me. Because then I absolutely I leave that line. And I feel that I should be complete to my years here. Okay. And I just did uh, three years I went to the Obera Hotel as a director because we are coming to the five star. Okay, huge five star property is coming in the next two years. And that could be the best thing. And so I went there. And again, I uh, came back to SM and be no, not thinking of living it. So that could be the journey, that could be the thing. So hard work, mark your areas, what is going on around. Definitely everyone should track the competition. For us, the competition is the subordinates, the colleagues, the company is growing, how is someone is position, coming in the position for the job people. For you guys, maybe something different. So that could be the reason that I could and kept on changing myself. So you all is the word which I used. Thank you. So we would like to know like how should one evaluate oneself? Like how should one diagnose oneself that he is suitable for this particular job or he is suitable, suitable for this particular business? Because in your case, Till now, the journey was like you were selling products and now you had to sell concepts. So, how different it was? It was uh, largely a lot of difference there, which is concept selling, and I never sold concept before joining SM World. But my fundamentals of sales and marketing were in place. Okay? So, I uh, believe that. Uh, Everyone here is used as Sandeep has said that there are budding entrepreneurs. I think there are more than budding there are everyone seems to be entrepreneurs here. Okay, so I need not to be told the basics. But whenever you get into the job or any perspective, okay, you should be perfectly understanding. Okay. And then, then go along with that. That will be the main thing about it. So after joining SL World, uh, what were the experiments done by you to make SL World reach that pinnacle of success? I was uh, very lucky in case of SL World. Because when I joined SL World in 97, there was only one channel. That was Z. And Z belongs to us. Us with SL Group. And there was no uh, much competition under the channels per se. There are hardly Gurudarshan channel. And SL, SL, uh, that is Z, then Z had EL channel, if you remember, it, like uh, some people must remember that they launched EL, and there was one more. So to break the clutter, <coughs> the communication was a not a difficult task. Today's every entrepreneur here must be having a most difficult task to how to reach the customer. Because there are 300 channels, stickiness to the channel is most important. And so, so expensive, so expensive that getting into if I want to, if I will, like many people may ask me, lately they are not seen the SNL app. Well, this year we are done it, okay. But to which to select channel, where to reach, which is your target audience, and what is the cost. Ten, ten, ten years back it was very easy for me, okay. One of the best commercial was in place. One of the new product was coming known as Water Kingdom, and two powerful channels were with me. So that was one of the things which SL World uh, kept on getting the heights and what again uh, kept on getting the heights and I think uh, that is the reason that it was I could change the thing only a different type of communication and that was the reason. There's, there are a lot of of course like, experiments which we kept on doing on the way. So any one which you can elaborate, <coughs> which you recollect probably, which you would like to share it with all our entrepreneurs. Anyone specific? So there are many, okay, so specific, uh, there are many, okay. Okay, one, one, one uh, classic example I can uh, give it to you for advertising, if you say. Everyone must have seen the, uh, on the taxi, black and white, black and yellow, those days, 97. 
SLL and water cleaning logo. Every taxi will have SLL, water cleaning and washi. Okay, if you remember around 15 years back. And uh, it was a story of 1999. Okay, what we just launched, and I was coming in the evening. And, uh, I had no car at that time. But I had a car at that day. I was not having a car. And uh, after one party, okay, now we can say that, of course, for the alcohol. I just got a taxi, and when I came to Mulun uh, Chennai, at that time you could uh, just have to change the taxi from Mulun to Thane. But those were the days where it was just the beginning. So I asked the cab driver, "What are you going to do after the taxi? Why don't you go to the taxi? So he said, "Well, the taxi is still there, but it is not working. It can go to the taxi. So you have to go to the taxi. So he said, "No, it is not working. 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 And of course, what did you do after this thing? I forgot next day. <laughs> and there was somebody, person in my office, made a taxi or a car to I thought whether I paid yesterday or not. Honestly, <laughs> so I was a bit scared. So I made him. So the sir, after car dia rakho, okay, I got ticket. I will take it over there. How many family did he take? And I gave him three buses. So the sir, sir, or do you want to take a taxi? Take a car, take a car, take a car. And Shyam ko aur chaare lane dege. Sab log aake, everyone start coming and picking up their tickets. Jo nahi the, wo kuch de lage. Hamara bhi taxi, humne us sticker lagao. Four sticker, agar isse mere body ki naok lagayenge, not washi of course, and you get three tickets. And that become one of the is. If you see that Economic Times has got a best and bigger campaign, if you see every Wednesday. Okay, so 1999, this got a best campaign because you have to pay if you go to the taxi or the road. Okay, with their union and all. Now you can't afford to even go on to Meru cab or all because it's very expensive media. Okay, so I instead of going to the taxi union that big uh, roast or something like that. Okay, the taxi also started coming to us. Everyone will make sure that there are logos there and they 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 get two tickets. So around. Thirty-seven thousand taxis came, wow. and they came in July and August where we don't have customers. <laughs> okay, so it was it was built up win-win situation. Now the scheme is on for last twenty years. They still come in July August. Now they put stickers and they give us two thousand. That is, they buy tickets now and they put the stickers. Well, there are few things which kept on doing a lot. We just paid us our advertising agencies. We chose right. So everything was in place. Yeah. That's very interesting, but that was very smooth and so far so good, I can say. But I'm sure your journey may not be that smooth because just like the rides which you have in SF World, all the roller coaster and the twist and turns, I'm sure there may be a lot of twist and turns in your life as well, as far as SF World is concerned. So, can you elaborate on the challenges which you had to face? Maybe in terms of administrative policies or advertising strategies, and if you can elaborate on that, and how did you overcome that? Okay, I'll talk about advertising strategy later. I know what you mean. But one very, uh, very, very uh, interesting example. But administration, yes, the main administrative strategy is 100% uh, focused on the safety of the guest. Okay, I would like to highlight everybody. It's the most crucial of our business. Okay, rather every business may be. However, uh, this business requires because these rights are high thrill rights. Uh, they are not paid here, and worldwide there is a trend of the accidents. Okay, so if you ask me, administration that is the control over the situation. That is one of the things. The failures, all the short, all the mistakes. If you ask about the advertising, like the success of a silver taxi, there was a very funny thing has happened into case of Water Kingdom. When we launched Water Kingdom in '98, and it was inaugurated by Bala Sahib Thakre in those days, okay, got the mileage on the channel because of his aura and all. And we were estimated around 500,000 visitors for that first year. And we landed up only 218,000 something like that. We really failed to understand.
understand what to do. Everything we did not even pay many of our supplies. That was such a bad situation. Okay, and we never we 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 failed to understand what's wrong. One of the best uh, campaign we did it. And suddenly we thought, uh, and we've been hearing about the uh, people are getting uh, skin sores and all because the TDS of the water was very high in the initial period because we 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 have a combination of saline water as well as the fresh water, fresh water, ground water and the saline water. So then the salinity is very high when there is a high tide. Okay. And our plants uh, initially did not work as per the requirement of the number of 500,000 liters water per hour we filter. So we first controlled that. And then we decided to do a research in what's wrong with the product. And you will not believe it. Our first campaign was everywhere there were holdings, we chose those routes where the holdings will be displayed and the print media were chosen. Okay? And the family were shown, however, the women in the family were on the swimsuit. That too one piece. Then then we know everyone said everyone was good, girls were good, boys were good, men were handsome, everything was good, the customers were not coming to us. Then we, we, we conducted research and research came that at that time there was a lot of Gujarati and Marwari used to come. Now the picture changed. Okay? And the taboo was the swimsuit. They have expressed in the research that without swimsuit you can't enter into the park. And that's why there was no Gujarati and Marwari visitors. We just changed the campaign, believe me. We just changed the campaign and we started writing. As, as we in mandatories we write, swimsuit is compulsory, that is slacks and a t-shirt for women okay because indian women is obviously they, they cannot wear one piece to full job even two piece also okay so that is the that is the thing which is and that decision has then 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 water kingdom has never looked back so that is the major fault and we really suffered two years but one good diagnosis good research good consultant good marketing agency has resolved our problem and we could do the Best. Okay. It's, it's very interesting actually. So, my question is that your legs don't pain when you walk the entire reservoir. It's so huge at times. <laughs> now, yes, after seven <laughs> years, seven years, yes. But generally not. The one round of reservoir, uh, uh, if you take uh, from the outside, which takes around one hour and uh, uh, fifty minutes, something like that, and which is eight acres circle. Okay. If you just decide to take an entire round, which covers only the boundaries, not the parking lot, not the other thing. Okay. Because 65 acres is only the place where the attractions are there, and rest of the land is there must be around 10 acres as a parking and the rest of the place. But yes, it's, it's, I'm very happy to say that. So we heard you have tried almost all the rides of the world, like maybe Disneyland or Sentosa or Hollywood Studios. All of them. How has been the experience so far? And which one was your favorite ride? Uh, yes, I have seen most of the parts of the world thanks to a good job. Okay. And uh, from east to, not east coast to west coast, I am talking about from the far east to the west part of the world, up to Vegas. Yes. Uh, I like to go to the high, I am very scared of the circular motion. Okay. I can't sit into any circular ride. So I enjoy the really which goes like a short, short and drop and all. And all the rides of uh, Universal Studio, you must have seen, about the movies and especially the Shark or the Terminator 3, 3D and all. So those are my most favorite rides. So whenever I go this, I enjoy every time, like a first time. And still enjoy at the age of 50 by like 15. That's a fun. Okay. So I enjoy those rides. So. So what are the corporate practices that you can recommend uh, for a professional to practice in his own business so that he can increase his efficiency? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, okay, I would say the standard uh, or good corporate governance practices, okay. That doesn't mean everything I must be for the 90% years, okay. I will always say that uh, 
all the entrepreneurs who get into the suppose a private limited company or even a limited whatever company they should have some good i'm thinking of telling about the overall expectation of standards for the good running of the any any corporate big corporate one should have a good strong board okay effective board members that is very useful or if you have a good name to the board it carries a lot of weight to the board they advise you well okay so that's why if you see most of the good or big corporates in the country will always have the name of the scientist or the name of the big business person and follow the board meetings i'm just coming one by one rigorously that affects a lot so all the board members and the board together can come together and review the performance one second could be others to the every statutory requirements okay i would always say this whatever size of your company is okay one must do the compliance or because that will take you to the different level later may not today but definitely it will pay in a long run third draw the policies about the ethical behavior right from the sexual arrangement to everything and the top level should follow that because according to me it's like a you know house or in a home finally parents have the culture in in any organization at least the we we have around around 952 people work for us around 1000 people work for sl world which is around 120 crores company where the when 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 there is a handful of people driving the organization they all should have at least no compromise with the ethics and those ethics should be clearly drawn okay otherwise the culture getting spoiled or getting hey will not take any time because that should be in the robust in, in, in the robust way and fourth is uh, obviously the people management and performance review management that is becoming more and more critical in today's world because talent the new talent is such a talent available in the market and as such a opportunities are available for them So retaining of the talent because no without people you cannot do you just cannot grow without good people and to keep good people and to grow yourself you should have good people and for the good people you should reward them well and you should treat them well and fifth is obviously a CSR every company should draw on the corporate social responsibilities and they should stick to it so I think this four five basic but which is very important in one start. And that could be one of the things that uh, that should be when we are not into any controversies at all. Because we stick to this policy, so it's true. We try. <coughs> so, like any other business, even the entertainment business has also gone through various transitions. So, how have you adapted to the changing trends as far as entertainment field is concerned? Yes, every business evolves. and entertainment business is such a dynamic business that 10 years back there was no competition per se and today there are a lot of competition i'm sorry talking about the competition means currently only amusement park per se but if you talk about the only amusement park and if you take that is a day activity okay so even malls even one day picnic spots everything is competing as it is not okay if you if you just zero down Amusement park. Then so there are new parks are coming. Imagica is majorly new park is coming. Then Metal Joy is coming, and all are major people. There are major major business persons or the corporates or the people who are having the deep pockets. Okay. So the 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 trend is changing. Like 2000, malls are competing us. Today, the mall shop is competing us. Okay. People are they don't want to move out of the house. The boys don't want to get on the grounds to play. Okay. And Two three hours they get into the grounds, and if they don't get any WhatsApp or a Facebook, they really they, they they are scared and they don't want to come and play with us. Okay, any any part. So all these modern things which are changing, 
which are changing in the world is competing directly because whatever is the leisure activity, whatever is the entertainment activity is competing. But only then we go on to the, uh, we go on to the, it's a daily activity, hourly activity, weekly activity, monthly activity, and then we focus. Like amusement park is generally a three month activity or a four month, who stays into this periphery. Okay. So we have to focus that four months full day activity who can spend around 15,000 rupees and then track those activities and then study what is going in the world. We have, a, we have people who keep on visiting uh, every year world parks, what is changing trades are there and then we try to bring them to the country. So that, that is the one thing. So as you mentioned uh, competition, how has been the global and the local competition for you? Because people have started globe trotting. Earlier people hardly used to visit foreign countries, but people frequently uh, travel to Southeast Asia or probably US, UK, where all the big entertainment uh, houses, centers are there, just like Disneyland or Hollywood Studios or Sentosa. So how are you coping with the local competition as well as the global competition as far as Water Kingdom and Esperanto is concerned? It's a good question. We are having a tough time. Let me admit that. Okay. Because sitting here must have everyone must have travelled abroad. Okay, most of them. And going to US or going to Singapore, going to Malaysia or Hong Kong. Now, Disney has reached to Hong Kong, which is three and a half hours flight. Universal reached at Singapore, which is four and a half hours flight. Disney has reached last week uh, 16, they are inaugurated in Shanghai. Okay. So Hong Kong will suffer now because of Shanghai is open and Sento Island is so every every it's very accessible for the Indian middle class. Okay. So their perspective is changing. Their demands are changing. Their demands from SF, but what is new in SF? Okay. That's our challenge. So first is when the same customer who used to come to me and who is going abroad frequently, even if there are frequently, but let's say once in three years, okay, from US to Southeast Asia or Far East, okay, and they are getting an exposure and seeing the rights they first expect from us. So we try to change as per their expectations. That is one. That is into the software or into the support of the infrastructure. When I say infrastructure, is the inside road, toilets, eating oils and all. If you ask me, Still my eating joints are not good into SF1, but we are changing every toilet, every facility, public education facility, roads have changed, food paths have changed. So that is the major thing which they expect from us. Second, guest service, customer service. Okay. Their expectation goes far up when they generally go to centers or any path. Okay. Uh, for especially from HK Disney or Universal Center Zone. Well. So that is the second focus area which we have to focus to improvise the destination and the service. And third is we call it the hardware, that is the actual rides and attractions. So we have made sure we are we are we are sure that we will only buy these lights, which will only compete, like the only there is only one tower, short and drop. In India there are two towers, one is a 30 meter height and ours is 55 meter height. And I am directly competing with Malaysia, that is 50 meter. So when we got the mid shot and drop, we got 55 meter. Then the latest introduction is a top spin bag. Top spin, in Asia no one has it. We got it from Europe. And we study now, not only India have to compete, I have to compete to these markets also. And so has Imagica also invested. So there was this study, they know that only this customer will pay 2000, they know what is going in the world. So customer is not food. So that's the thing. That's the way we keep it on eyes and ears open. Do a lot of deep diving. Do a lot of uh, testing, market research, and all those things. So I'm sure uh, many of you here uh, would be uh, curious to know. Like many parks are actually making losses. They are in huge losses. Like the sources from the industry tell us. Like one of the popular parks is also out for sale. When such is the scenario. How is your amusement park so viable and making profits? It may be a first mover advantage. 
generally uh, you are if you ask me about the without taking the name if you ask me that uh, other parties are making laws because of the capital investment is very high okay this business is very capex oriented okay lot of capex lot of capital intensity into the plant and machinery and if you consider the land the returns are very difficult for us uh, we have acquired the land in 1983 okay and we started part in 1989 so the land price during those days if i take these are the returns then it will never break even in life okay so that's the major thing with land and with heavy capex driven industry and that is the reason because one simple example of this if any right my short and top right it's a 35 cr after installment okay cost of bringing cost of installation input duty and all let us say 1 million right if you go to purchase in us example okay or all the right market is dominated by italian manufacturers german manufacturers and american manufacturers okay so i will get the same attraction let's say 1 million by coming here it will become 40% duties and then installation the same right if we install in germany 1 million only but their ticket size is a 50 dollars okay and after 25 years my ticket price is let's say 20 dollars after 25 years in the market i meagerly charge around 17 to 18 dollars and Imagine I could only draw around forty dollars or thirty dollars after investment in thousands of crores. So that is the main challenge because we still can't draw a big, big ticket price. If you don't put into big ticket price, you can't buy the expensive rights, and that is a vicious circle. So we, because of our land, which is brought thirty years back, we could do or we could survive or we could sustain a little growth. That's it. So, what value proposition a professional should bring in a promoter-driven business environment? What would you say? Even promoter-driven is the only one popular. It's a private limited or a small company which is a proprietary. Promoter is a proprietary. Uh, Because any company is a, pro a promoter-driven. It can be a private limited, it can be a limited, but it's a promoter-driven. Okay. So, very well put. It's a proprietary company. Yeah, proprietary company. Again, I, I told like uh, they can uh, they can definitely stick to their uh, good practices like statutory compliance scheme. So they don't they can focus on their growth because we would have to take small internal things, we would have to cut out guys and all those things. So stick to that. So have a broader vision to grow. Be get a good manpower and see keep uh, keep your eyes and ears open to the competition. Okay, you don't. If you say that uh, if you are selling uh, a nail or if you are into transport business, what will change transport? Okay, means alternative move to the transport. And those changing trends, uh, one can keep eye, one can uh, look at uh, look at those or track it, and that can be that can be a one thing to sustain and grow. So, like any in business, any customer feedback is very important. Definitely, it is important in your field also. So, we heard you have a very different and a very innovative way of taking the feedback and also making the changes or rectifying the problems. Can you elaborate on that and how important it is for any business? We have strict uh, feedback. We have given a daily two percent sample forms need to be collected. Means, if today I had one thousand two hundred guests. Both the properties, Asilver, Guatemala, Pune, downtown is different. Out of 1,200, we should get two percent feedback forms. The feedback form will have typically where you come from and all this standard format. That is one. We we'll track it, and every weekly we do that review. And every monthly month we do a ghost review, or you must be knowing about the. Uh, What is called as we call it the ghost review. So, so I said there's an agency which we appointed, okay, and they they visit on any of the busy day of the month. Generally, a 
first two Saturdays and Sundays are busy because at that time you get salary, you get money into the pocket. So first two Saturdays and Sunday, uh, there are a lot of visitors. And at that time, they go, they buy a ticket and they visit to the last time where we are scored less. And they submit us the report. That is helping us. And that is, I would say, even if you are into B2C or B2B business, whatever business you are, kindly take. Uh, I am not here to preach or teach anyone about their business, but focus on customer feedback, because, uh, focus on telltale signals, you must be aware of what are telltale signals, because indirectly or directly, customer tells you off. Never ever think of the lost customer is because of he could not afford us. Think there must be something different why he has left us. So we are we are very sensitive, although we are not all the time successful, but customers, everything, and then we do three types of research, monthly and daily. So many a times, like the rights are meant to entertain, but many a times, like we are seeing, or rather we have also experienced, that the rights sometimes frighten you instead of entertaining you. Have you got such kind of feedback from any customer any time? So this is known as a secured scare. This category comes under, you are knowing that you are entering or you are going down and going to go down, but you are not going to fall down. Okay, understand that. So that comes as a three. When this, when you know that you are going to have the fun, you are going to have a scary feeling, but you are not, you are, there is nothing to, nothing, nothing will happen to you. So that turns into three. So generally, guests or youngest enjoy three. Sometimes, sometimes when the height goes up, some women who are scared of the height, they start shouting. They raise their hand, men or a woman, anyone. At that time, they stop. So there is one right over the fender, okay, which gives a 360 degree turn. So many puke out, okay. So someone if really feels, then we stop the right, we take them out, okay, but it happens. And uh, there is the one right which is known as a monster in the middle, which according to us is scary, right? So some women come out saying, oh, it is so scary. And some people say it's a, it's a, it's a comic right. So again, the different perspectives. And we then feel, right? we thought of to make this one of the most scary right. Because Halloween is the that type of right, are very famous in the world, right? So we tried to make it. And some of the women have shouted in the dark room and jumped out of the car when the monster comes to but someone catches that monster and it, it, it finally goes to our houses. Okay, because that, it's a total electronic equipment. And then they, 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 they get scared or they get angry and they just hit it, that monster. And it goes this type of Some people, yes, they get scared. Sir, so, uh, as we mentioned earlier in the interview, uh, the famous jingle, like, Nestle World, I will go to the house, I will go to the We have all grown up hearing that. How did this hit you, basically? No, it didn't hit me. I am not the person who has uh, created that. Okay, this jingle is created in 1993 when uh, Z was in that. Okay, Z was launched. In 1992, Z was launched by Subhash Chaudhary. And 1993, this was uh, made by, I think it is made by Andreas Darcy, Ashok Kurya. Okay, am I right? It's made by that. Okay, so. It's a 1993 commercial, one of the best commercial. Still, people say that there is a lot of record value for it. Whenever we do away without that, the research says we do. When we do it, the research says that now it is out of the, outdated. So, so really confused. So now we got away with it. Okay, I keep on fighting with my agency daily on that with the new commercial, whether we then they do some compromise, but still I'm not able to break the ice whether we should have that or whether we should not have. But yes, it's strongest recall value being after Nero or before Nero. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this jingle, like we know it, like we have grown, like my uh, father or my elder brother has grown. But my elder brother, or if I see the elder ch younger children, actually they have totally uh, forgotten about the jingle, or rather they don't know about it. So, what endeavor, like what efforts are you taking to connect with them? That's why I said, see, uh, in marketing like languages, uh, there are four types of generations. We are the mid-time generation. 
you were born between 1947 to 65. 65 to 80 are the generation X. Then 83 to 19, 2000 is generation Y. Those were the market, those years we know in that. And 2000 later are known as a generation Z. We are facing this challenge of Y and Z because they are between the 20 to 40 or rather 18 to 25 years of age. And they don't have a connect. So they, if they don't have a connect, then whether we should go back because my age group or you may be having a connect, but how many times now you are going to the amusement park? So we may do away with GB. So that is the decision we have taken. So now next commercial we may not have a it's around the room. So there are many innovations uh, taking place in the world of entertainment like we had 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D, then we have 60, 70 now. Virtual reality has also become the talk of the town. So what are the innovations that have taken place in SL world or Water Kingdom or downtown which you would like to tell us? I told you that SL world all and we kept on adding the new rights, we kept on adding 3D rights, we have added 7 Water Kingdom is the uh, only where we, uh, we have every three years we added one report whether family place okay because uh, still Water Kingdom is the leading, uh, leading position irrespective of coming uh, in Kobori, in Magica or even in Lodala because it's designed differently. But Pune, yes, Pune is a beautiful new concept which is uh, known as the FSC, Family Entertainment Center where we have the snow and ice skating. It's not ice skating, it's a snow town. Okay, and then there is a, if anyone aware of the smash, latest the smash was introduced first, the cricket lanes, where you actually play with the bowler. Okay, then the bowlers are nominated. Let's say if someone wants to do a practice, somebody that if, if, if a cricket lover here, then you have to just go uh, choose a bowler, let's say Del Stein. Just choose Del Stein and his one million deliveries. Not his, all the all the cricket players which are we have chosen are stored into the computer. So when the Del Sten is, once you choose Del Sten and the level, okay, you have to choose a level, it's a beginner or a player. So if you choose that in that pace, in the that speed, he will move. And you have to actually play at a real ball will come, you have to real hit, and there are six sensitive sensitive cameras are there which will track your ball and then they will give you four, six and all these things. We just got first time coming in Mumbai. And second time is come in Pune. Second is we. First leader is in this is Spanish. That's really good. So I can see the involvement uh, you have uh, in entertainment, in your work, in your job. You are so passionate about your job. And suddenly a new generation gets inducted in the business. So how do you adapt to this changing situation? Has it happened with you? And if it hasn't, then if it happens with someone else, how should one cope up with it? New generation coming in and we are going out is very common. Okay, so you have to keep on changing your role. Now I get more into the advisory role. I don't get to do my own things. Okay, so that is the thing which one has to do after 50. Okay, to guide your guys, they will do it. And young generation can do a much better than job than us. Let me tell you, at least I can say that. Youngs are super, super, super products. Okay, they know what to talk, they know what to do, and they are smarter than us. So don't interfere with them. Give them a goal, they will achieve. There any instance which you would like to share about, like as you have said, young are very super. Anything which you would like? To yeah, my marketing team is average age is 35. Okay, I'm 55, and the marketing should not go more than 35. Otherwise, they cannot create good ideas. Okay, even person is 32, 28. If the event person is 55, he cannot. Okay. So there should be that job. But if the engineer is 28, I may not. My engineer is 40. Because he should be experienced, he should control the rights, he should understand the right, and he should have experience. If one wrong sound, if he senses there is something wrong in the bearing, that will not come with the young, that will come with the wisdom. And wisdom comes with the experience. And there we can't take risk. So there we, it's, it's dependent on the what role. So if it is a finance, again I prefer the who are good into managing my money. We are 120 crores only, so keep on getting a lot of cash. Second, engineers should be mature enough to understand the exports, but the marketing should be young. Okay, so let's see. 
So here, here there are many entrepreneurs and I am sure many of them must be interested in knowing that how we can get connected with you as far as business is concerned. Many of them may be interested in serving SLY or Water Kingdom. We are all open okay, for anyone, everyone who can contribute and reduce my cost by giving me a good superior product <laughs> at a lower price. Okay. So everyone is welcome. Because I want to make profits and profit will be made. Good quality with the good price. So everyone, your partition is the only way to grow. So I'm not averse to that idea. Okay. So I'm sure there must be uh, many questions uh, from the entrepreneurs. Uh, so we will take them then. I think Sandhya. Any questions? Raise your hands, please. Hi, sir. It was great listening to you for the last half hour. Um, quickly, my question is um, I want to uh, know that what are the two metrics which you track uh, maybe on a day to day basis? First day, uh, first thing when you come uh, in the morning and you ask the boys, uh, how did you do yesterday? What is that one question which you ask them? And at the end of the day, or uh, you call it a day at 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, what is that one message or one call which you call your, your last mile guy, that how did we, uh, how did today go? So what are those two metrics which you ask uh, you know, to your team? One question is becoming my value, but yes, uh, the first question, what was yesterday's business? Yeah. To start with, in the weather like to work. Okay? How many number of guests? And today, what is the booking? That's a morning week. Come to the city. If I am there in the public park, I myself attend, otherwise, team attend. And everyone has to brief. Is any group is coming, any special chat, special, special someone is coming, a lot of politicians come, and they need escort, and all those things. That is one. And end of the day, Every night, 10, 30, 11, 11, 30, my wife, I can't sleep till 11, 30, today no incidence. That's the last message. Great. Okay. okay. Because they are all scared till the last guest goes home. Because there are nine fairies to buy. Okay, well, I run nine fairies, I own nine fairies. Okay, so the guest, 55% of the visitors come from the fairy. Okay, road, I'm not worried because that's not my responsibility. Yeah. Fairy is my responsibility. And when they are into 65 acres, everything belongs to them. Everything comes from me. So, no incidents and this way the guest. That's the last question of 11 30 every day. Then, okay. even the smallest first stage, which you track, we track is a major or minor first stage. That also speaks. Great. I think we should just. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Please introduce yourself so you know what I know. Good evening. I'm Giselle. I have started my own. Uh, my question would be, uh, what would be your advice? It's, it's not a question, I'm just asking for advice. What would be your advice to a first generation entrepreneur with no IIM, no IIT and no MBA background? <laughs> Perspective or which gives us our perspective. This is nothing to do. Uh, today, uh, SL Group is 80,000 crores. Okay. And Subhash Chandraji is not at MBA. Okay. So, I am not saying that is must. Okay. For the job seeker like me, it will be must. Okay. <laughs> but it may not be for the entrepreneurs like you. So, entrepreneurs like you have a lot of idea. Faith into your own ideas. Okay. And perseverance. But faith into your own idea is the most important thing. And believe me that uh, uh, I could read in last eight days a book, okay? If I am not at all promoting here a person, uh, the Z factor, okay? must read book. Okay? Every new idea, new concept in this country, when the person was introduced, okay? From a rights vendor to the conglomerate chairman, how it has come? I'm not saying we, we, we cannot dream of that. But believe in your own ideas, pursue your own ideas, and uh, sometimes come back, go back. Means there is nothing wrong getting two steps back. Okay, in business. 
Sometimes let it go. It will come, it will bounce you back. That is the thing. But, but give the best to your customer and it will give you back. For sure. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Do you have a question? Yes, Good evening, sir. Dinesh. Very interesting point that you had uh, mentioned about uh, competing with WhatsApp and Facebook. So, on the lines of that, I would uh, want to know how you are tackling that issue and getting the uh, six teenagers uh, to your property. Good, so let them have a break free WhatsApp session that is provided Wi Fi. So, in this thing, one point twenty five CR also. Okay, that is the decision we have taken. Okay, because uh, we found many of the people keep on okay, network daily and all these things, uh, pass and all. So, we are providing now Wi Fi so that you, we also have a Wi Fi. Things come in our place. And uh, you know, all of advertising onto Wi Fi and then. So they will come across with my attraction and once they stay a three factor on FB and WhatsApp, they will visit to me and once they visit to you, even you have a break free for WhatsApp. Okay. Because you can't you know, so let's marry with them. You cannot fight with them. But we don't fight with the competition. Let's go with them and come come up. Find a solution about it. Because you can't change. Okay. Any more questions? First of all, I'm mean, this is Sandeep. I'm in the food business. Uh, thank you very much. I mean, you know, like to news. And it was quite useful. Daily, I think some thousand people now be visiting to the park. Maybe some two thousand five hundred ten thousand. See, last time I did one point five million per year. So, so you get to... average around 4,000? 4,000 people. But if they ask me today, today is hardly 800 and 900. Yeah. Average is also 4,000. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolute. So it also adds to my question. I mean, fact being that, how do you take care of the food? And how do you see the food changing habits? And do you see food as a major factor of people visiting your place? And then how do you cope up with that? See, we have a defined core value of any product. This is what is a core value, and then becomes a packing and the, then third is another maybe a packing and the cap and the rest of things. Our core product at the center is the experience you are delivering with free to That's what we are defined around. But second is food, we are absolutely right. So food plays very a major role into the one's day. Especially Indian taste buds and worldwide also. Every amusement park has got the best food. So yes, to answer, food is a very major part of us. And your th the next question was how you are seeing how are how you are seeing the changes? I mean, how you are implementing changes in the food? Do you uh, track the food habits of the people? Do you track the likings of the people? As you are saying, midnight X Y Z generation. Would you like to change the food? Yeah. We have checked, we have taken the steps. We are a cafe coffee inside. So the youngsters keep on sitting there, we provide the Wi Fi. So once you give a ticket and if you don't enjoy the ride also, okay, but sit in the CC. Then we have a governors. Okay? So two major things we are taking care We have about 2000 rupees CCD inside. Yeah, because, no, CCD is a very strongly priced there inside. Okay, they don't, they don't hang around for hours together in CCD. Okay? And even if you don't go get into CCD, you have a 60 rupees coffee and you spend your day. Then we have a beer bar also. So we are as a changing area, we are helping that also. Okay. So we spend a lot on the liquor business also. But in the meanwhile, for eating habits, I am telling you, we wait for the dominoes. So we give pizzas, we give coffees and we give burgers, that is changing. We had a family inside. Okay, but after 10 years we had to partner with the commercial guns. But that was a major thing which we had. Uh, we started giving nachos and tacos and everything. And the changing habit, but we are not successful. So, end of the day, what we realize is this pizzas, burger, good coffee, and samosa and chaat. Believe me, and thali. 
makes you a better happy. But samosa ke siwa you can only sell this liquid also. Okay. Samosa and vada pao is just selling like anything. And good profit. If you allow me to ask one more question. Yes sir. What is the difference you said that your team is visiting worldwide and you are going to one place from one place? No, no, no. Sorry. Your team is regularly visiting yeah. various yeah. amusement parks across the world. Yeah. What is next? What we can expect? From the worldwide? No, no. What for the yes. aspect of this game? Okay. You know, with the, everything is changing to the virtual reality, augmented reality and all, if you are tracking all these things. So from us, next is, we are getting into the uh, theme rights, augmented realities, okay. Because virtual reality we have, but the next version is augmented reality, that is one. And nothing to do with the internet, but you can expect a five star hotel from us next two years. Thank you. Last questions. Yes, ma'am. We are Mangesh here. Uh, we are in the business of uh, statutory compliances, providing services to most of the corporates. Uh, it's not a question. I just want for information how many employees does this word employ and what is the admission rate you observe? We have 950 employees. And uh, if you ask me about the third party contractual in, admission rate is very high at the lower level. That's a challenge for all industry we are facing because a uh, lot of avenues for them, a lot of malls are coming, a lot of theatres are coming and talking about those like guest relation people. So their attrition rate is very high. Okay. Senior management attrition rate is very low and the middle management attrition rate is 8%. So what do we track it? So three levels. I think it should be very high because while delivering the lecture, he says 950 to employ, and now he says 950. Who was your lecture? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I think one last question. Two questions, yes. Uh, myself, Jigandar Vilash. I am one idiot. Uh, so the question is also that he has a immense moment to be mindset. Some of the academic person has a great idea.
but it does not come to the straight to the grassroots level, the first that's level. Right. That's, that's yeah. right. that's yeah. my so we are orienting them, okay, because it was making the short bucks, the short quick money. This is forgotten. But even though worldwide, even everything is controlled by DOE, okay, there are accidents that are happening in this industry because yes, there are accidents that can happen. That should pray to the Lord till then there is not a single incident that happened in 27 years. And I pray Almighty it should go down like that. Thank you. Thank you. It was indeed a pleasure uh, talking with you. It was very entertaining. Trust me, sir, we have experienced all your rides in SL World, but probably this was the best ride that we could actually have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So one more thing which I would like to point out is you are a CEO of a very uh, established amusement park, but then we have realized that your work is not that amusing. So you may be a CEO of amusement park, but your work is not that amusing and it is very challenging. So all the best from uh, New York town and then to you. Yes. And lastly, I would like to say, you are speaking so well and you all are enjoying. Mm. Like all of them are enjoying. I can see people nodding and applauding. Uh, okay. uh, and so they also may be having many other questions which they will definitely connect with you. Yeah. Yeah. So as the jingle goes, SL World may run away, run away, run away. Probably people will now see unanimously, Sadkar may run away, run away. They will not leave you, sir. Thank you very much and thanks. Thank you, everyone, and especially Sandhya Ji, Rahul Ji, and Mr. Kapoor, who made me post at my home, okay? And of course, Nitin, who interviewed me a few months back, okay? So thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I would like to invite uh, Rahul to render a vote of thanks. So we have a, a short se session of uh, rapid fire round. I hope uh, you don't mind. No. Okay, put in a very difficult situation. I can't answer. Okay. We'll be throwing my wife is there. That's why. <laughs> we'll be throwing some questions on you. Okay. So what if you woke up one day and you realized that you are a CEO of Magica? <laughs> what would be your reaction? I'd be very happy because I must have taken over that part. Okay. <laughs> Super. Yeah. So your favorite ride? Short and drop. Okay. Uh, what is the one which you like and dislike about the amusement park? Walking a lot. <laughs> you have to walk a lot. How long does it take to walk? Not any. This is one of the modest big park. If you go worldwide, oh, you will finally give up. Okay, let's heal the three, four nights. And then the queues, big queues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you wouldn't have been the CEO of SL World, what do you have been? Stay that. Stay that? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I, I was into dramatics a lot in college. I, that time, realized no change come out of it. Okay, and I give up. Rather than I would have been a student. Sir, Kama reminds us, and I think you are also movie buff. <coughs> last question, last rapid fire, which I would like to ask you is any one Hindi film dialogue which you can correlate with your business acumen? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's very difficult. Rapid fire, I can't actually. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's very evident that your heart beats for coming entertainment. Yes. I now request Rahul Anwarte, the current chairman of TEN, to please come and present the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Inkesh, uh, can I just request you to please give a citation to Shri sir?
can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And citation presented to Suresh Deshpande, uh, for speaking on the subject, managing a global enterprise on Wednesday, 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable guest, Sri Shivish Deshpande. This is Anuja Deshpande. KYT MD, Mr. Nikhil Bhalla. Dear tenors and all the esteemed visitors present today. On behalf of Pen, I, Rahul Amrude, the current chairman, supported by our secretary, Pinkesh Panchmatia, and the whole team, sincerely thank you all for your wholehearted and overwhelming support at the launch of Open Minds today. When our team first met Shirish Sir and his residents to discuss the concept of open minds, it was an instant connect. Maybe our like-minded focus of doing something constructive for the entrepreneurial community caught us together for this event. Believe me, sir, Shirish Sir asked us that day, why have you chosen me for the launch of open minds? Why not someone else from the long list of dividends? Believe me, without even a fraction of a second, we answer this question. We said, Sir, your heart beats for family entertainment and the fine balance of connecting family entertainment with business it was, is, is what, what you are all about. Tell also is all about family and business. That helped us conclude that there could be no one better than you to start with. And Sir, we are proud today to say that it is indeed a pleasure to have you amongst us at the launch of Open Minds. What you shared today was straight from your heart, which is obvious every minute of your chat. SLM by Rahumna Mai, Ghar Dei Jaunna Mai, rightly describes your commitment towards the silver. After learning from your taxi advertisement campaign, we could see the innovative side of you too. Major takeaways for all of us today would be keep reading and be aware of your surroundings. Right diagnosis of pain points can really resolve serious issues. C. There can be no shortcuts to success. People management, tapping new talent, new talent and retaining them by you being good and treating them well will take you a long way. B. Do not worry too much about competition, but be prepared to face it. That's actually the way to grow. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much Thank for all your support. I will now conclude my word of thanks with our sincere gratitude towards the Chief Deshpande for sharing his valuable experiences with us. My, valuable, uh, my sincere gratitude towards Ken, the core team, without whose relentless effort this could not have been possible. And also gratitude to all the visitors who made time in the busy schedule to be a part of this event today. If any of the participants wants to know more about 10 activities in its membership, please feel free to connect with Paras Shah, Pinkesh Panchpatiya, or myself. I now call off the day and would kindly request you all to proceed for networking for cocktails and dinner. Thank you, thank you so much. Experienced local, I guess, a formal way. 
एक वेग मजा आते एक वेग नो एक एन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट होता वेरी कैन हियर दम वेरी पेशन को बढ़ा आवड़े व्यासपीठ एनी पर्टिक्युलर पर्सनैलिटी देर आर सो मेनी एंटरप्रिन्यूर्स यू कम टू माय माइंड विद इन थाने देर आर सो मेनी पीपल या फ्रॉम थाने बेयर स्पेसिफिकली मिस्टर भालेराव फ्रॉम यू नो लैब इंडिया लैब इंडिया ओके इज वन ऑफ देम देयर इज मिस्टर वजे यू नो ऑफ केमिकल वजे दे कैन बी दे डोंट मला आता तरी आलो अच्छा ओके एनी सजेशंस पर्टिकुलर रिगार्डिंग द प्रोग्राम इट वाज वेरी वेल कंडक्टेड वेरी प्रोफेशनली कंडक्टेड आई थिंक मला त्याच्यापेक्षा जास्त काय आता सजेशंस देण्यासारखं काय असं वाटत वाटत Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry, uh, personally, uh, as an entrepreneur, um, I really enjoyed uh, 40 minutes with Mr. Uh, Sudhir Deshpande. It was extremely inspiring. Um, the transformation from a sales executive um, to a CEO and the journey. What does it take? The key takeaway for me is continue to evolve, make value, uh, your core principles, and make sure that you're ready for change all the time. Right. Um, stay. Um, the who moved your cheese, right? So that's that's a something to pick up. Um, I think it was a very very key message to all of us who are entrepreneurs um, to make sure that have faith in what you want to do, right? And continue doing what you're doing. Right. That's a key message. So I want to thank them. I want to thank uh, Open Minds and I want to thank uh, Know Your Town, uh, the entire team behind to arrange this, right? Um, heartfelt thanks for the day. I'd like to see um, similar kind of a uh, people coming in who would uh, probably be a guiding light to us, uh, right? Somebody from the financial sector next time, right? Yeah, somebody from the financial sector uh, because while we are busy making money, while we are busy growing our idea, it's very important to make sure that somebody teaches us our finances as well. All right. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Good evening. I'm uh, Sachin Karnavat. Uh, lovely evening spent here today. Uh, very motivating, uh, very inspiring. I think uh, when I had come here, I was little tired. I was worried that tomorrow morning I have a schedule and I would be late. But I think after listening to the session, I am totally refreshed. And I think it's a great initiative. Uh, this, let this good work be carried on. And uh, I recommend uh, Mr. Satish Kutekar, ex CEO of uh, Anandanta Sarkari Bank, to be called on this particular platform. I think uh, he's a very dynamic leader, and uh, his coming would definitely motivate most of us. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Parag Zubaydar, uh, owner of uh, a restaurant called Sizzle Desi, and a professional chef for the last 26 years. Uh, this is uh, my first time as an entrepreneur, and attending uh, uh, a meet like this, uh, wherein Mr. Deshpande talking about uh, entrepreneurial skills and giving tips to us as to how to manage a business, uh, was quite informative. Uh, for me, as a first-time entrepreneur, uh, this is going to definitely take me uh, uh, into a different league. Uh, uh, all his tips uh, are going to be uh, uh, quite useful, and uh, uh, I, I hope that I use those tips in uh, uh, in using up uh, in my in my regular day-to-day routine uh, uh, in my business. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Nikhil, and Tain also. This is a विषय सुरेख कार्यक्रम का अपने मणूस का कशा प्रकार मोटा हो तो मोटा है ये बढ़ाया अपने वाट कसा कार्यक्रम अशा इंटरैक्शन्स मन कहत अरेच स्थानिकर है कि जे अशा पद्धति मोटे जाने खाच नाव ते फार्मा इंडस्ट्री मध्य का स्पेशलाइज कन्सल्टंट्स हैं बिल्डिंग डिमोलिशन्स कर सो मेनी सच पीपल आर लव ठानेकर सटनली वेल डेफिनेटली लाइक टू नो दे एंड दैट इज वॉट इज नो युअर ठानेकर विश ऑल द बेस्ट मी थिंक टेन स्पेसिफिक कुंडली मधे एक शबरी सेवा समिति मन ट्रस्ट है बारह वर्ष एक काम करते हैं कि ठाणा जवाहर तालुका नंदुरबार कर्जत 
जो तीन जिल्ह्यात मधल्या कुपोषित बालक राहून आहेत म्हणून ते त्यांनी बारा वर्ष काम करत आहेत करंदीकर प्रकाश करंदीकर म्हणून सर आपण त्यांच्याशी इंटरॅक्शन कारण हे मनापासून म्हणजे दोघेही नवरा बायको एक तर त्याशी काम करत आहेत अशी जी काही लोकं आहेत त्या ठाण्यात नाणी संग्रह वगैरे करणारे काही सर आहेत अशी जर लोकं आपण बोलून तर एक वेगळं फील्ड राहील कारण आजकाल एन जी ओंचं इतकं पाव किंवा पेय फुटलेलं आहे की खरंच कोणाला मदत केली तर ती जाते की नाही आपल्याला करत नसते अशी खरोखर मदत आणि जी प्रसिद्धीपासून लांब दूर आहे अशांना जर आपण बोलवलं तर नक्कीच